Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the beginning of a new campaign. Playing as a certain nation as... You can of course tell by the thumbnail, by the title, and that of course is the Desert Rangers. Now, I've played as the Desert Rangers before, but I'm choosing a different path. But, but before we begin, we're going to leave historical AI focuses off, and I'm going to just let AI behavior be completely random. Set on default, no one has any changes, I'm not buffing anyone. I'm not nerfing anyone. It's going to be a standard game without AI uh, differences, I guess we'll say. But anyways, let's just jump right on in. And we are going to choose the Nevada Pact. Last time I've chosen, or last time I played the Desert Rangers, I did choose to play as the Steel Rangers, which was a lot of fun. But that was quite a while ago. So, we're going to choose the Nevada Pact. Now, I don't know how that's going to turn out, seeing as people hate each other in Nevada, probably. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, this campaign, though, <clears throat> I will already let you know, is not going to be super long. A few m days, maybe a week of this campaign, and that's pretty much it. But anyways, we have Desert Origins. The Desert Rangers can trace their origins back to pre-war military personnel from one branch or another. Their celebration of this heritage has always been a central part of their identity. Good, good, good. So, we start off with 11 divisions. And... They're not bad. They use basic melee weaponry. If I want to take someone out first... I think I took out <clears throat> the Vipers first when I did this a long time ago. Uh, how many divisions do does each side have? 7 to 10. Yeah, I'm probably going to take out the Vipers again just because I can force my way into their lands probably f easier than anything else. Ooh, big iron. Ooh. Oh, wait, hold on. Oops. Oopsie. That was a bad idea. Why'd I do that? Um, basic weaponry 10, 2 breakthrough, 20. Tw I kind of want some big iron, not going to lie. So we got a couple factories. Do that, do that. If I had to make one more factory, we got dynamite. That's pretty good for now. Definitely support equipment because I want to make sure we get some medical companies as well. Engineering, Ohm's Law, so good for research speed. Industry. Gotta get the industrial planning. Gotta get that construction basic stuff. And for land doctrine, I'm gonna go with conventional warfare just because the Desert Rangers, while they can be pretty strong, I want as much manpower as possible. So refined warfare is not really gonna do that for us. I'm not using robots. Asymmetrical warfare, I was thinking about using this one and going down ancient tactics, but I'm probably just gonna go with trooper warfare, even though I do wanna use a lot of APCs in this campaign. At least attempt to. At least get some sort of motorized divisions. Because actually motorized divisions are kind of expensive, not gonna lie. I'd rather have just say APCs. So let's train three guys at a time. That should be pretty good. Uh, that should be good, pretty good. Uh, let's see, do we have a general that we can have? Kyle Reyes. Less attack, less defense, more max planning and planning speed. So actually we have no penalties to defense. A little bit of just a tiny bit of a penalty to attack. And we take in less supply. So that's not too bad, actually. Pretty good. Let's go. Cool. Uh, do we have an air force? No, we have no planes, which is fine. And let's quickly get through this first focus. Ooh, let's also disable background story decisions. We don't really need that. Restore the Crescent Dunes project. Ooh, we have 300 caps. And when we do this, we, we use our civilian factories. But we can get... 20 things of energy, which is okay. Do we need energy right now? Not really. Uh, before we move on, though, I will talk about that National Spirit in a little bit. It doesn't take us that long to go to war against the Jackals or the Vipers, so I'm not going to spend political power to immediately justify on them just because that would take so long. And we need some world tension, which we don't have yet. So, Very good, very good. Ah, Desert Origin. So, I love the description here of the event, but whatever. So, do we want an Army Corps of Engineers, which gives us more construction bonus to land forts and outposts, and we get a motorized infantry and scrap motorcycles, which sounds kind of cool. Army Ranger Battalions, which gives us less division training time and a special forces unit, or the National Guard, which gives us a whopping 15% to construction speed and two things of infantry. I'm probably going to get with this, just because construction speed, I love construction so much. Um, You guys, just go ahead and switch to Rangers. National Guard... The only reason I'm doing that is because they're smaller. Uh, yeah, so thank you, but no thank you. But I'm going to keep you there anyways. So just join... Oh, 
join the line. So, the prison. The prison was the original base of operations for the Desert Rangers, and when found, contained a vast number of criminals and scum. The Rangers needed the manpower dearly, but that, on the same note, many did not feel accepting criminals into the ranks would benefit them in the long run. Well, well, I mean, we have a core population of 29,000. I'm going to need more population. Not going to lie. I'm going to need more, more population. Ooh, and we're going to need some political power. We get two a day, or really one a day. I'm going to need... Uh, some demo equipment, and we're already on a very high conscription law. 15%, the only higher one is War Never Changes, which isn't good, but anyways, the prison's inhabitants. To accept the prisoners, or cri criminals, we lose civilian war support for more manpower and arms workshops. Except petty criminals, we get civilian and arms workshop. Exile the criminals, we get war stability and war support. <sighs> Honestly, I don't mind losing civilian war support just because... It's only 2 to 5%, not, not that bad. So, peacekeepers of Nevada. The people of Nevada are forever in debt to the Rangers, and often shower them in what supplies they can spare. Catching onto this early on, the Rangers were faced with a simple moral dilemma. Do you help those who can reward you the most, or help those who can't afford to reward you? Also, we have a pretty good national spirit, more organization, less division attrition, more division attack, and defense. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, free military factories. Actually, let me double check. So, we have the big iron. Oh, yeah, it's definitely better to choose Big Iron. Um, I might use Special Forces. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We definitely need more of this, though. So that's obviously what we have to do. Support equipment's looking good. Demo equipment will be good. I definitely want more daily army XP gain. Uh, Peacekeepers of Nevada. So we need help or protect the weak. We get some manpower and some supplies, resources. Protect everyone, which we get less manpower and a few more resources. Or protect the wealthy, which we get a bunch of resources. What we need is scrap metal. Uh, if we choose this one... We only get three more scrap metal. Honestly, I wanted to choose Protect the Weak because I need as much manpower as possible. Just because we're not a ma major nation. But we do want to take out the Vipers. They're up there. So, the Vipers are snakes in the worst sense of the word. They lie, cheated, and betrayed to get where they are in the world. We would be wise to view them as a serious threat going forward and wiser still to not underestimate their ability to backstab us. So, we should backstab them first before they can do anything to us. I'm going to need more war support. Oh, definitely going to need more war support. Research, ruthless drills. Eh, let's begin the scavenging program. Expel the riffraff. I definitely want to do that and focus on the internal sphere. Maybe eventually, but definitely expel the riffraff. So that'll be good. Let's see. We have plenty enough divisions here, so I'm not really worried about that whatsoever. Let's grab a field marshal. It's only three costs. Peter Leinholm. Cool. He is EI. More speed. More, ooh, more supply consumption. Well, slightly less, I guess. Yeah, that's not bad. Could be worse. He likes sucking up a lot of supply, so. And we only have 13 command power. We get about 0.31. Olympus tribe was annexed. That's fine with me. And we're about a week off before we can go to war. Except the petty, petty criminals. National God. Very good. Very good. Build a lot of stuff up, guys. Lots and lots of stuff up. And like normal, we want to concentrate our forces, which is fine with me. So immediately, let's do the Jackals. The Jackal Gang is a particularly vile group of raiders, scum, who gain their namesake from their tendency to prey on weak, near-defenseless communities. They have been our enemies as for as long as we can remember, and it is long past time that we put these dogs down. I'm going to immediately go to war, because we need to. And we need to smash our way into the, the enemy line. So, you guys will go that way, then you guys will... Uh, not you guys will come right there. Hopefully, we can do a good number of damage right here. Good. And actually, you guys will just go right there. And then I'll take you guys go right there and circle these two divisions. And that should be pretty darn good. Yeah, they have no commander. Good. Kyle Reyes, good luck. Still 0.32 uh, command power, which is good. Um, you might as well help attack. You might as well help attack as well. Good, good, good. Get him up there, get him moving. Get a bloody springs. Nice, very good, very good. Awesome, we're immediately attacking and getting attacked at the same time. Ooh, construction basics, not bad, hold on. And industry planning, let's get some improvised tools. Let's grab work as needed, because that's usually the best one, woodworking. You know what, you guys come up here, you come up that way. Yeah, I took a factory or something. Nice. More big iron. And we can't even make support equipment now. Darn, that sucks. If you can beat these guys up, that would be great. Just go ahead and come up that way. You guys just come right here. You're mostly here just to distract them for now. Which, yeah, I know, maybe not the best idea, but whatever. Whatever. 
Come on. Boom. Now hold. Now they're going to panic, like normal, which is good stuff. And then they're going to panic right here, and then I'm going to do a little encirclement. If possible. Don't want to waste resources. Let them attack us. Let them waste their manpower, and they can't do anything about it. Glorious. Hmm. Oh, the jackal's good. Good. Now we're stuck. Not doing anything, because... Well, oh well, whatever. Doesn't matter. You know what? Let, let's attack here so they can't move. Let's encircle this group, too. Oh, I got encircled. Well, that's never good. Mm, help attack here, then. And you know what? Send one guy here. You guys stop attacking. That's okay with me. You do that. Come up there to there. Good. Give me half of you guys. Attack this way. Very nice. And you're going to move up here. So we can get rid of these guys already. Muy bueno. The Yakima Nation was annexed. Very good. And... Yeah, you're not going to move, son. You are not going to cut off these two divisions. Kill that guy off. Glorious. That division is going to go bye-bye. Oh, the follower of the apocalypse. This happens every game. I'm not going to read this. So, let's let them come. Whatever, I really don't care. And take the viper's nest. And... Plop. That should be good enough. Are they dead? They're not dead yet. Give them just a little bit more time. You're going to come this way. And help kill them off. Kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. I'm surprised that, that, that they're not dead yet. Huh. Good. Wow, this is taking a while to kill this guy off. But at least we got ten. Ten. Power. Um, escort the caravans just because I want them to like us. It's about the Rip Raft. Uh, program. Season Patriotism. What do I have here for military high command? I'm going to keep Snake Vargas. So, Angela Death might be good to keep. Uh, ooh, that's not bad. Viper. Vipera. Hellraiser. Yeah, more attack would be good. Yeah, definitely, I definitely want more attack. Research Advisor. Give me more army XP. Every day. Come on. Kill these guys off. Uh, just go ahead and start... Oh, the 305. That's what we needed. Not bad. Uh, do we have enough command power to promote you? No, we don't. Huh. Odd. Well, we've killed about a thousand of them after taking 36 damage. 36 manpower loss. Oh, just go right ahead, guys. It's fine. Because we want to go to war with these guys soon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come on down here. And now we can do the Venom's Viper. Factories. Or special forces. Let's do Ranger Team Viperum. Those among the Vipers, smart enough to surrender, have been rounded up and given the routine re-education and re-armament. They will become Rangers and pay for the crimes, or they will join their fellows in the grave. Now, how much... Mm, that's not a lot of demo equipment. I definitely need demo equipment, though. Give her guys just a little bit more of a boost. I think that'd be good. It does cost us 20 more demo equipment per division, but that'll be worth it. Even though we can't really afford it right now. Do that. Come back down here. Yeah, I know we need more guns, but guns are relatively cheap. We can make them constantly, so that's good. Now we have enough materials, though. That's good. Let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. And how many divisions do these guys have? Five to ten still. So we should be okay if we attack immediately. Give them, about like, five more seconds before so that, so that they can move around. Five, four, three, Troll War and Carcass Walkers. Two, Uno. Well, half. Mm. Where are you going, son? You need a hold. And... Good enough. Cool. Good. Good, good, good. So, all of you guys, we're probably going to attack here, just so that they have a problem. I don't mind actually leaving a hole open so that their divisions move around, so I can sneak into there a little bit faster. Go ahead. You guys hold. You guys attack, so they can't do anything. Um, you guys come up that way. You come up there. Something like that. I don't know. Go to Hawthorne. Yeah, I don't plan on these guys winning, so. And we took off the one. We got encircled in the end, but whatever. Whatever. Good. Kill these guys off. Immediately kill these guys off as well. Or, actually, just go to Bridgeport. Yeah, that's probably better. You guys go down this way. You guys go down this way. That'd be good. Ranger team by Pera. The Viper's Venom. 
The people within the territory formerly controlled by the Vipers live in fear of the venom, which used to be put into the water sources of local communities, forcing them to rely on overpriced Viper supplies. Now that the Vipers are gone, though, we've made efforts to decontaminate these water sources, which has earned us a lot of love from the locals. Hey, look. Elite Ranger teams, and they're okay. They're okay. They're not great, but they're okay. Cool. Uh, I'd rather not have this guy die. So you're going to smash your way over here, and you're going to smash your way this way. So that these guys can't move, and they're done. Easy. Boom. If I had to take someone else out, do I? Hmm. Hold on. So eventually, we want to get down here. Ranger General Appointment, Snake Vargas. I want to create the Nevada Pact. Nerino Valsu. I might take out the Yakuza. Yeah, let's take out the Yakuza next. I don't think they're really too strong yet. And as playing as them before. They can be strong. They can be pretty strong if you don't take them out early and they know what they're doing. Oh my god, 330 days. Holy cow. It's almost an entire year. Whatever. That gives us time to prepare, though. Actually, you guys. Compare, let's compare these guys. So, the Rangers, Special Forces on the left. With less defense. They are, like, three battalions smaller, so keep that in mind. They do have more breakthrough, which is kind of nice. Um, they are a little bit faster. They have a little bit less HP. A little, Quite a bit more organization. Hmm, I might just train these ranger teams a little bit more, if possible. Even though we already have special forces right here. Can I convert divisions like this to this? No, I cannot. Oh, that would ex we would exceed our special forces cap, which kind of sucks. Um, but that's a case. Maybe make these guys a little bit stronger. Promote them. To oh, wait, you then your speed would get lower, but that's fine. I don't mind my speed going lower. Less organization, more HP. Throw on more special forces there. That's not bad. Um, you know what? For now, you guys are looking pretty good. We got the Vipers of Venom. We could be drawing Venom for a little bit more population. Raider Conscription. Outposts. Bring dogs to heal. Um, water. Supplies. Well, we'll just be drawing Venom. So, those lands once controlled by the Vipers have been purged of their legacy wholesale. And the people within have sworn themselves to the cause of the Desert Rangers. These communities will help to form the backbone of our future. Very good. Go ahead and train, because I need army XP. Even We definitely need more demo equipment. Yeah. And go ahead and start repairing everything that's broken. Because that, that would be muy bueno. Especially the military factories. We need those on a line. Divert the followers' supplies. Don't care about that. Placate the followers. Don't care about that. Expel the riffraff. I might do that. I need more stability and war support, though. Hmm. How about Chief of the Army? Special Forces Attack Defense. Hmm. I'm really thinking about putting another demo company on here. I cannot put any more of those guys on. Which kind of sucks. Demo companies, though. They're double demo companies. You know, we're mostly using just regular Rangers. Let's keep these guys going on for now. We got Conventional Warfare. That's some good stuff. Let's grab Battle Plans. Rangers. Throw in another demo company. I usually don't ever use fire teams. They're okay. Hmm. I just like the big kaboom that they can give me. Yeah, just put a ton of demo stuff on them. They're training anyway, so it won't really matter too much. We're going to get paid soon, which is awesome. Anything else down here? Not yet. That's fine. Drawing Venom. So... Let's get Raider Conscription. Not all Raiders are without redemption. Many know nothing better. Young, violent druggies gang pressed into service. Their crimes can't be washed away, but they can work off the debts they owe to humanity by defending it from those they once called ally. Good. Good amount of that. Getting more army XP. You guys are getting training. I can finally promote Peter. Finally, after our two wars are already over. Whatever. Um, get some research going. Ooh, got quite a few slots. Good. Can't do any of that stuff yet. Let's get some organized agriculture. Let's grab some reinforced rate. And then infantry stuff. Training time. Uh, training time. Let's do that one. And what are we missing? Oh, spec ops. Oh, we need some spec ops equipment. Travel scout kits. Yes. Put you at the top. Lower you by that one. There you go. There you go, my friend. We're repairing a lot of things, which is good, 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 good. We need a lot of demo equipment. The followers establish themselves, like I've said. I'm not going to read this because it happens every game. Good. 
whatever. We lose a little bit of political power, which doesn't matter. More monthly population, more stability, less war support, and more research speed, which is always nice. More research speed's always good. Except the criminals, National Guard, Desert Rangers, good stuff. All right, you guys are training, awesome. Making more divisions. National Guard, motorized, uh, uh, we'll get rid of that. I could screw up my divisions a little bit more, but you guys are looking pretty good. Yeah, but each one of these divisions will be good. I want good divisions, not a ton of divisions. Good divisions. Good boys. Uh, more attack defense. I definitely want Hellraiser, though. Uh, research speed, land, doctrine, research time. That's not bad. Reinforce rate. It's not bad. Mobilization, monthly population, and recruitable population factor. Economic advisor. It's not bad. Friend of the Mordinos. I don't care about that. Major businesses. I can build stuff faster. Yeah. What do I want? Oh, help the settlements. That's what I want. Because that gives me a free civilian factory. Yeah, we only get 19 guys a month, but whatever. Whatever. So, let's do a Viper Outpost. The former headquarters for the Vipers is a defensible and resource-rich location. Many have suggested converting it into the central base for our operations in that area going into the future. Infrastructure and outposts. Nice. Very nice. Actually, is there anything I, way I can get more stability? Or, not stability. War support. Uh, I could lower war support for more stability, but I don't need that. Hmm. Ah, uh, begin a scavenging program. No mutants allowed, no undesirables. Anything here? Jackal, dispatcher, division tact defense, aircraft, of course, you know, normal stuff. Research time's not bad. Land auction research time. I wish there was more I could do right now. Hmm. Oh, how about Chief of Army? Let's see. Basically, we can't do this. We can't do that. We can get more attack and defense for special forces, which is okay. Ah, uh, we can't do that. Um, I might not be able to do that. So, one, two, three. Uh, it's only 5%, but everyone gets 5% more attack and defense, which is okay. Not great. It's okay. Really good, good. Elite Ranger teams. Throw on some demo companies. Oh, good, good. Very nice. Hmm. Seed selection looks pretty good. Fiber outposts. Just a week more, which is good. Good, good. 22 guys a month. Not bad. We're still mobilizing more, which is nice. It's very, very nice. Control Warren, Clear Warren, Rib Breakers. That's good with us. Um, Viper Outpost. Now the Dog's Kennel. The areas controlled by the Jackals have been, has been called the Kennel for decades due to the oppressed status of those living within. Some communities of farmers and merchants who've not known freedom in many long years flock to our banners, offering us hidden caches of equipment and wealth. We get three civilian workshops and some more caps, because caps are nice to have. Nice. Keep making some more demo equipment. We got plenty of infantry equipment. Spec Ops equipment is doing well. We're hopefully going to be making some more of this as well, maybe? Just a little bit. Combat language. Good. Let's get some more decryption. That'll be nice. Brotherhood declare war on the cause. Makes sense. Um, medical chem stuff. Research speed. Uh, get a building slot. That's kind of nice. Medical stuff. Research speed would be pretty good, but... I'm definitely going to expel the rift draft first. Let me do that before we move on. And how much longer do we have until we can go to war with these guys? Probably at least 100 days. Yeah. We're 142 days out of 330. Father's Legion's going crazy. And what are the Yakuza doing? Fling with hope. Survive with much strife. This looks a little familiar to me. Oh, they went down the central path. Which is fine with me. Totally fine. Don't focus on expanding. Don't focus... Well, actually, I hope they focus on their industry. But, you know, whatever. The dog's kennel. Very good. Ranger Team Canis. Those among the Jekyll gang smart enough to surrender have been rounded up, and given the routine re-education and rearmament, they'll become rangers and pay for their crimes, or they will rejoin their fellows in the grave. Sounds like we read that one earlier. <laughs> Don't want to use them on civilian factories since we're still... Yeah, we're actually building stuff up. We have 29 factories. Not bad. We're making just a little bit of tribal scout quits. A little bit of support equipment. Quite a bit of dynamite. We got reference manuals. Let's get some encryption. Good. Hmm, yeah, demo equipment. Oh, oh wow, a oh, royal. The apostles are pretty aggressive. 
Pretty darn aggressive. Uh, come on, our lines. You got double encircled. Okay, that's not good. You encircled someone over here. Oh, encirclement's done. The anointed declared war on the Murtaws. That's a little unusual. I don't see these guys killing each other too often. New Canaan, of course, is New Canaan. White legs are there, which might be a threat if we're not careful. Hang dogs are, you know, holding on for now, but they're probably not going to hold on for that long. How strong is Kaisar? Settlers in Phoenix. Yeah, that's been pretty strong. Good, 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 good. Uh, time to go on as fast as possible. And we have Ranger Team Canis. Next up, bring the dogs to heal. Those lands once controlled by the Jekylls have been purged other legacy wholesale. And the people within have sworn themselves to the cause of the Desert Rangers. These communities will help to form the backbone of our future, which we get three new cores and... Oh, some elite rangers. Nice. This probably puts me way over my cap. For special forces. And we need some demo equipment. Yep. Hmm... Nice. Ooh, military training, very nice, very good, very good. Um, this is pretty much all stuff ahead of time. What about over here? Flamers. Definitely want medical chem stuff. That's a little bit ahead of time. It's not that bad. Planes. Yeah, that's that's like the bread and butter of me. Of when I play Old World Blues, is just planes. Getting enough planes in the air, enough enough in the sky, to do a good enough damage. Muy bueno, you know, normal stuff. Demo. I don't want to hurt their stats too much, but this does help benefit them a little bit. I would love to throw on more special forces, but I'm over the cap. Uh, we can. We have room for negative two divisions using this template. Ah, strange aid. See, it's looking good. Uh, news from various caravans got to us. The caravan leaders say that the trade route through the town of Crystal Springs is a harsh environment, but one in which people, certain people will actually guide the caravans around danger zones to safety for a fair price. Even more surprising is a rumor that continues to spread that these caravan guides refer to themselves as a former known raider outfit known as the Sky Reavers. Interesting. So, I want to let you know, I guess I didn't mention this earlier, that I am using the mod compilation 2, which is a great mod compilation for Old World Blues currently in this campaign. So, we will see different things. The Sky Reavers will hopefully go a little crazy. By Chrono, so they have their own fat focus tree, which I definitely want to explore someday. Uh, approach the Desert Rangers. Ooh. Volunteer deployment. Expanding the. Ooh, oh, I hope they don't go out this way. That'd be fun. Uh, next up, Free Yarrington. So, Yarrington has been a central focus for slavers and violent folk in Nevada for as long as anyone can remember. Filled to the brim with innocent folk who have been wronged in a thousand ways, our liberation of it can coincided with a sharp increase in the number of volunteers eager to take the fight to the raiders. Absolutely. Positively. Let's expel the riffraff now. We'll lose a little bit of stability, lose a little bit of political power, but whatever. That is fine with me. Oh, battle plans. Nice. More max planning. Field fortifications for more defense and organization. That stuff is muy bueno. You guys can go and stop training. Hmm. Maybe I should research something else. Fire teams, I mean, they're okay. I never really liked them, because look at all the penalties you get for fighting in forests, mountains, urban, jungle, even marshes to a degree. Yeah, yeah, less movement speed, we get more attack defense. Eh, that's not bad. I guess movement speed isn't the worst thing. It might be better to have them than not have them, but that does lower our organization for these guys by quite a bit. So we're already at 40, so... You know, that's good to keep in mind. Elite Ranger teams. That'd be good. We got a little bit more money. Nice. How are our factories? We got 10,000 manpower. Rough almost 11,000, but we are done mobilizing, which is good to remind ourselves about. We definitely want to do this. Do this up here. Ah, Free Yarrington. Next, we shall do Jackal Outpost. The former headquarters for the Jackal Gang is a defensible and resource-rich location. Many have suggested converting it into the central base for operations in that area going into the future. So we get infrastructure and two more outposts. And then we'll be able to go down to Rain uh, Ranger General Appointment, which is a pretty long focus out of all the focuses that we've done so far. The Lord's Anointed is already dead. Holy cow. Wow, hot job, wow. You're looking kind of long there. Let's see, Port Mall's looking okay. They don't have a focus tree, I think. Boy, the pirate mama there. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, this is kind of interesting, actually. Maybe they have... It's kind of their own focus tree. Kind of, but not really. But sort of. Cool. Bellingham, old country. Troll Warner taking up their sweet time with the rib breakers. 
Um, what's the NCR up to? Reorganizing the bazaar. A lot of manpower. Kaisar is... Okay, the 80s declare one Ruby Valley Refuge. Flagstaff Fortress. Mexico as well. Mexico. And there goes the Red Breakers. Very good. Brotherhood declare one Port Mall, finally. Uh, I want to wait to do that. Power, da, da, da. Current expenses. Ah, check out Outposts. And now we shall do... Ranger, General Appointment. Many within the Desert Rangers have questioned the continued service of Sink Vargas, who has led the organization for the better part of two decades. Many of his senior rangers have expressed interest in taking over the duties of Ranger General. Despite longing for retirement, Vargas is certain that his, or this, would be replacements seek to take sides in larger conflicts. Doesn't matter, we're going to choose him anyways, so. Snake Vargas, you're going to continue leading us. Look at that facial hair. I wish I could grow facial hair like that. Oh my goodness. That'd be amazing. Mm, we need planes. Keep making the civilian factories, those will be important. Military factories, not so much. We're almost out of our deficit of dynamite, which makes our guys extremely explosive, and I like that. Oh, we got another division, too. Nice, we got a lot of divisions, that's great. I might ruin my divisions, though. You know what? We're gonna go down to this much. I'm gonna duplicate this. Bigger boys. Because, in time, I want to make these already combat with. And then we'll swap things around eventually. Those are only 30 combat with, which isn't enough for me right now. But, in time, we'll, we'll switch them around. How strong is the Yakuza now? We have about a, roughly a month, which is good. Now they're doing northern expansion. They have up to 10 divisions, maybe. They're led by a Mama. Council head Yazu. Not a lot of manpower, which is nice. We got resistors. Nice. Re better reinforce rate. Good. After them... I just want to mostly take Nevada territory, which might include gravitory territory. I want to see what the Sky... Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. I want to see what the Sky Reavers do. I would love to see this. Does not have Big Joe. Where is Big Joe? Oh, wait, no, that's a leader. It's not a location. I never... <sighs> what the heck? Interesting. So I hope they choose Big Joe, whoever that is. They're led by Chrono, of course. But, uh, yeah, Big Joe sounds like fun. If not, we can, might, might just take them out. Either all of Nevada will be under us, or they'll be allied to us. One way or another. Doesn't really matter. How strong are the Yakuza di divisions? Uh, they're about maybe 20 combat width. Maybe. Well, we got 20 divisions right now, with four of them being elite rangers, so. You know what? I'm actually going to split you up. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. And we're actually going to give you someone new. Six cost. Will Jones. He has more supply consumption, more division speed, a little bit more attack defense, and then a little bit more movement. So that's not too bad. Um, strong is okay. Gunslinger. Give me more attack. I love the attack so much. That's infantry. I think, yeah, spec ops should be considered infantry. That'll be good. Clay working. Awesome. That's not bad. Seed selection, 92 days. That's not bad. Let's do that. 17... Yeah, I definitely definitely need more war support. Ah, oh, there we go. We can go to work with Carson City. Um, you know what? Sure, why not? They're not that strong yet. And how are we going to do this? I should have probably thought of that before I started doing this. Uh, you know what? You guys can come probably right here. Um, oh, no. You guys can definitely win there. I want one of you guys to move up here so that you guys can come there so that you guys can help out there. Good. They don't have enough divisions to guard against us, which is nice. Can you go that way so that you guys can come that way? So that you guys can let them in a little bit so we can bait them in. Good. Oh, they're getting attacked. That's okay. Oh, Ranger General Appointment. I'm going to go just choose Snake Vargas just because well, that's the way you go down with that. So, let's go and choose Snake Vargas. So, despite a bad knee and aging mind, Snake Vargas has decided not to retire. This was due in part to all of his viable replacements clearly wishing to side with the local power rather than continue on, on with the dream of the Rangers. A safe and unified wasteland should be the goal of the organization, not political squabbling. But that's all the time for that we have today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of me playing as, of course, the Desert Rangers once again, choosing the Nevada Focus. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we finish off the Yakuza territories and see what we will do next.
Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.